maybe could could check their kids' phones or their devices to see if they have this app and ask to see what's being said. Bullying is something that affects children and adults across the U.S. each day. Some have called it an epidemic. That's why Valley News Live is launching a new initiative called Battle Against Bullying. It's in order to help combat and call out bullying problems in schools and elsewhere. Today, an area mom is warning other parents about an app your teenager could be using. It's called the After School app, and it's used as an anonymous place for young adults to express themselves openly. That, as a mom saw, can only be used, also be used, rather, as a place where teens can bully other teens. Valley News Team's Melanie Palmer has more on what you need to know about this app that only teenagers are allowed to use in this battle against bullying report. There was a lot of sexual innuendos about other students remarking about girls' bodies. This mom is concerned after what she saw on an app her kids were using. She doesn't want to be on camera, though, because she doesn't want her kids to face any bullying. But she wants other parents to be aware of this app. It felt like it was an area where students could go and just have a safe place to be able to have keyboard courage to say something that they would never say to somebody else's face. It's called the After School app, and the creators of it say it's a way for teens to be themselves in a positive environment while staying anonymous. But the parents we talked with are saying it's anything but. And when looking through this app, we discovered you can't register for it if you're not a high school student, making it hard for parents to know what their teens are looking at. Kids are impulsive and they can't make those kind of choices on their own. Um, so as a parent, um, I always invite, advise people to be as involved as possible. Maley tells us when teens have access to communication all day and all night, it can get out of control. And seeing posts about their own self-image can take a toll on a young adult. The prevalence of anxiety and depression for teenagers has increased dramatically um, over the last five years or so. A big part of that is also that's when smartphones got to be a lot more um, well used and popular. We reached out to the creators of this app and they sent us a statement. It says in part bullying and suicide prevention are issues after school cares about deeply and were the main reasons our co-founder and CEO created the app. It continues to say the app has an enforceable zero tolerance policy but the mom we spoke with says these policies don't work and she just wants parents and schools to know this app has the potential to be harmful in fargo melanie palmer valley news live this app originally came out in 2014 but after reports of bullying and harassment parents created an online petition to have the app removed and it was for a brief period of time but since then, the app was allowed back after some changes were made. One of those improvements was teaming up with the crisis text line. The vice president says if a student posts anything about being depressed, an alert will pop up offering support.